is Lakshmi. Today I am going to uh, teach you how to create a database and how to create a table in an SQL Server 2012. For that let me open SQL Server 2012. See here I am getting opening a window which is uh, given as SQL Server name as dot slash SQL Express. That means dot indicates that I am going to connect to a local database server. If we want to connect to a network then here we have to give a network address like IP address or something else to connect to a server now i am connecting to a local database server see here here what i can do is database folder i can create a database by using two method that is by graphical method and by writing a query for that let me open a new query see here i want to do first graphically i want to do a database creation for that right click on the database folder uh, click on the new database folder then here write give the name of a database like i am giving database ex example 1 okay press okay see if you want to check whether it is created or not open the database folder there i can see this dbexp1 here this is like a graphical method if i want to do it like in by writing a query for that i have to use a create statement create database give the name as dbexp2 Okay, this is how I can create a database by using a create statement. See, command completed success. If you want to check database, right click on the database folder and refresh it. See, I can see here exp2. If you want to uh, rename this, uh, just right click it and uh, rename it as exp3 and press enter see we can change this and uh, if you want to do it this uh, by changing the name of a database using a alter statement here i am going to alter database what is this db exp2 exp2 modify name equal to ex db exp3 okay 3 is already there i will give 4 see if i want to change db2 into db3 i am using like a ma the alter statement changing the name into a db4 see for that let me execute select this and execute see data where dbex4 has been set see if you want to check that one right click on the database folder and then press refresh see we can see dbexp4 if you this this uh, can be done uh, using an a stored procedure also what is meant by a stored procedure it is a group of commands executed together actually we are having two types of stored procedures like system defined stored procedures and user defined uh, stored procedures here i am using a system defined uh, stored procedures as a sp underscore rename db that is that is a stored procedure which is used to change the name of a database for that i want to execute a store, execute a store procedure execute dot rename db what i want to do I, first i have to give the old name as db exp4 and and the new one as exp db exp 5 okay if you want to change the name from db exp 4 to ex5 i am using a stored procedure over here see this is the one method this is another method by which we can change the name of an stored procedure see we can change the name here what we have changed the name 
okay the next thing is how to create a table in a database that is how we can create is create statement create table and the table name which i want to give is example like for that we have to select an database over here see i am selecting a database db.exp5 whatever we want to do here that one we have to select a database over here see example one for that which i want i want i require a columns like id which is of data type int and uh, and name okay which is of type varchar of 50 size okay this is how i i can create a table okay this is how we can i can create a table and uh, this can be done by graphically also see if i want to create a table uh, in db esp5 database database here click on the tables tables folder right click and new table there hi i can uh, create a table by giving names like i want it to be a id and the type of integer and the next column is name and of type bar cap okay this is how i can give the column names in a data type and further if i want to save that one save table and here i am going to give the name of the table as example 2 okay see press ok this is how i can create a table by graphical method see this is how i can create a table okay this is uh, how we can create then if you want to delete this table or a database we can we have to use a drop statement drop database And the database is db exp3 if i want to drop that database how we can do it is like this see here the database has been deleted for that if i want to check refresh it see db exp3 is not there if again if i want to try to delete an another database of exp5 see here if i want to delete this database exp5 i'll get an error why because you cannot drop the database db exp5 because it is currently in use why because here what we are using db exp5 i am using here so that the database which we are using uh, right now it can't be deleted here for that uh, that is how if we if we change this see if we change the other database and try to delete this see we can delete that uh, database if you want to check okay if you, now if i click it see here i am not getting the message it's taking time Okay, this is how we can drop a uh, database and the other thing is if you want to drop a table also the same method drop table and the table name so if I want to drop say so if the table has been dropped dbxv1 the table exp where one example one is not there uh, this is how we can drop a table now what we have seen is how to create a database alter a database and how for altering a database there are two uh, two types of 
uh, two methods are there and then for creating a table which is done by graphically and uh, and by writing a query this is how we can create we, how we can create a table and database for this is for today thank you thank you for listening have a nice day